Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process. In today's video, we'll look at how you can create vintage text effect in Adobe Illustrator. In the previous video, we have seen how you can create retro text effect, which is quite similar to this, but this time we're going to concentrate on how you can create vintage style design in very simple steps. So, as you can see, we'll be creating out this design, which is Royal Signic font. I have used this font, and this is quite a unique font, which I got it in a vector bundle. So, we'll talk about it later. So, in this tutorial, we're going to create this design which is very unique. We have applied a style to it. We're using very simple techniques and after that we have added some vector shapes in the background, some nice uh, design and this vectors, individual vectors to fill up the space. And overall, if you see the composition, it looks great and amazing. So we'll be talking about it and see all the steps you need to know to create out uh, such design. Uh, for your uh, artwork. So after that, we'll be looking at how you can create this oldest vector design effect. For this, I have used the appearance panel and created some multiple layers to create this effect. As you can see, I have used some layers black, then this color, then black. And after that, I have used few more layers to add some shadow effect. And we have used some other vector designs for the background and given some color variation to give a nice composition. So before we go further, let me thank our sponsor for this video, uh, Heritage Type, and they have got a bundle of font collection, and not only that, they have got a bundle of vector collection, which is very useful for your design. I recently picked up this vintage font bundle by Tauber Soul, uh, whose vintage logos and type designs are exceptional. The bundle contains six unique typefaces. They are all packed full of features such as alternate characters, ornamental graphics, and even ready-made logo templates. The heritage type is giving extra 10% off especially for Creative Process subscribers. So you can go and use the coupon code Creative Process to get the best offer. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use one of their bundle and the bundle name is Vintage Font Bundle. So this is the vintage font bundle. In this folder, I have got six fonts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six fonts of which I got in this bundle. And I'm going to use few of the fonts for this tutorial. And after that, they have got this, uh, this ornament and elements file where, uh, as you can see, uh, I've got some vector design, this frames, multiple frames and some uh, single elements. And if I open it in Illustrator to show you, so if I go over here, this is the folder. So this is the file where you got a bundle of vector shapes and you can use it in your project in whatever way you want. And we'll be using some of the elements to create our design. And the other uh, file you get is this frame collection and in, in, it is in different forms and shapes and different styles. So you can use it in multiple styles and these uh, frames are easily customizable and can be reused in any forms and design. So we'll be using one of the fonts from here and create out this amazing design. So let's understand how we can create this design. So uh, to create this design, the first thing we're going to do is to type our text and create out the effect. So I'll just drag this font and place it over here. So this is the text effect we have created. So to create this, uh, let's type out our text. So I'll just type out our text and the font I'm going to use is Royal Signic. So it's R O Y L uh, Royal Signic. So I'll just go there and this is the Royal Signic font and let's type out R O Y L Royal and other font. I'll just clear a duplicate of it and S I G N A G E Signic. So let's see, uh, this is the font. I'll just scale this up like this with the alternate shift press just to make sure that they are uh, scaling uniformly. And now I'll just place it around here. And as you can see, uh, we have got some amazing effect with fonts uh, as here, curvy style and this and this and this. So you can customize them this uh, using this open type option over here. So here, this is the open type option O and here you can see this this uh, systematic alternate option is active which means if I click on this you can see a different uh, style effects in the same font so either you want a simple one or you want some different uh, this uh, stylish uh, look to your design so now we'll choose this one and we'll do some customization as you can see uh, RO is fine we, we want a simple Y so I'll just go there select the Y and just click on it and you got this simple Y and as you can see A is good and for L you can see some effect over here and right now if I click over here you can see 
this is showing only two of the options. That means we have few more options, but you can't apply it using this. So what you need to do is we'll go to type and open glyphs. And under glyphs, you got much more collection of the word type so here this is the L and right now if I switch it this is the L we are going to use so these and these L are being switched but if you want to uh, select this one let's find it in our library so here are a few more L this one this one so if I select click on this this is other L design and it's very huge we want the smaller one and here we got the smaller one I'm fine with it so I'll keep it that way so let's look at other fonts as well so our Royal is fine for Signic G is normal so I just like that and click on it and it will keep it G and for A is fine G is fine E so for E we'll change it to something else so for E as you can see the ends has got circular ends so we'll select the E and let's search it in our library so uh, here double click it's not there on here and here is one more E and let's see few more e is available or not so here ear, ear. so this is the ear e we are looking for double click on it and it's applied so this is the collection of fonts and this is systematic alternate so uh, there are a few fonts available where you got alternate design for the same fonts just like this and if you want to check out if your fonts have alternate designs you can just go there and just drag it down and if you see that this act this is activated then you'll know that uh, the font has got some uh, like alternate font style so I just just search it out and just with the arrow key I'm just choosing different fonts and just to check out if it's there so here as you can see some font is there yeah so okay so this is so this is the font collection and if I switch it from here a and L is being switched so and this is some of these uh, example you can use and for if you want to give something else just click on it and you will apply it very easily so this is how you can use alternate uh, fonts just like that uh, for our design I'm keeping it to our original design so this is the font style we're going to use for our design so as you can see our font uh, is ready now let's apply the effect so to create the effect first thing we're going to do is to convert them into outline shapes so just select them all and right click and create outlines and this will convert this into outline shapes very simple now let's apply some effects so as you can see the first thing we're going to do is to give this thickness this black thickness and to create that we'll be using the offset option so i'll just select these and go to object path and offset path and here preview it and we want some thickness so as you can see it's there it's two point if i increase it to three point you can preview it and i think this is still quite high i'll keep it to 2.5 and click ok and this looks great and for the ungroup it I'll ungroup them there's one also I'll ungroup them and now I'll select all these uh, fonts which is in the center and apply them white color so just select them all so after selecting them just apply white color and we'll combine them so I'll go to Pathfinder and combine them and now this is one object just click them and everything will be selected now, the next thing we're going to do is to apply stroke color so as you can see they have got some stroke color with well, it is a nice thin stroke so we'll be applying that so I'll just apply some color from here let's say pick something and let's apply that so to pick that I'll be using the Apica tool and just pick this color okay and I'll just reverse it to stroke color and as you can see it's applied to the stroke and for the fill color we'll choose white and click OK so here it is and the stroke color is this the color code I have used is F0CB88 so we're using this color code I'll just copy this uh, because we're going to use this color code in lots of other designs so like that and for the thickness let's choose so I'll just uh, close this clips option and over here let's choose 0 0.25 and I think this is too low one pixel 0 0.25 points or maybe 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 points is quite fine now the next step we're gonna do is to create this depth and to create that it's the same process we have used in the retro effect so select them select all the background shapes just like this with a shape pressed and click so once you have selected all the background shapes go to Pathfinder and combine them like that very simple now let's create a duplicate so select them and with the all press just click and drag it down so 
click and drag it down with the alt and shift pressed to give that 45 degree angle of degree if you release shift you can see it's going anywhere in any direction with a shift pressed you give that 45 degree angle slide down so i'll just give some depth this much maybe yep so this much thickness is fine i'll just select the first and this two and we'll go to object blend and option this blend option and over here choose specify steps and set the steps to around 100 or maybe increase it to 120 just to make sure that the blending is very smooth and i'll click ok and after that i'll go to object blend and make and this will make the blending option as you can see it's very smooth because we have got 120 divisions in between and now i'll expand them so i'll go to object and expand them and this is object and fill click ok and this has got this mesh over here so we need to remove this mesh and we can do that by combining them just click on this and it will combine all the mesh and convert them into one object this will take a little time but it will make your file very light so now once your um, mesh is converted into single object as you can see the file is now very light and you got that nice depth now the next thing we're going to do is to create this mesh design and to create that design we're going to use the line segment tool so let's select the line segment tool and with the shift press just click and drag it down to create that 45 degree angle of line segment and make sure that this is parallel and if it's not parallel what you need to do is just do manual adjustments so for the thickness I'm applying some white color stroke thickness okay and uh, you can do the manual adjustment just go there and rotate it just like this and make sure this is parallel to this so right now it's parallel because I have drawn 45 degree angle and that's how it is so I'll just select this and let's set the stroke thickness so this is quite thick I want to make it I want to make it a little thinner so for this design I'll choose 0 0.25 let's see or maybe 0 0.5 will be nice yep and now i'll just create a duplicate with the opera click and drag and with the ship press just drag and this will give you that straight line like it will go in this straight line if i release shift you can see it's going down but with the shift it's giving that parallel line if and now select these two and go to object blend and just click on make and you'll get that blending shapes and i think right now as you can see uh it's 120 divisions i need more so i'll just double click on the blend tool and here let's increase it so i'll change it to 150 and let's see yup this looks quite great and now let's convert this into object so i'll go to object and expand them and take all of this click ok Right now it's in stroke format i'll go to object again and expand them and this will convert this into fill object and now right right click ungroup it and we'll make them into compound objects so go to object compound path and make and this has converted this into compound path now we'll do some uh, adjustments over here but before that select this background shape black shape and copy it we'll be using it in the later one so we'll be copying it command or control c to copy and now select this as well and go to pathfinder here and just click on intersect and this will leave us only this intersection portion and i'll arrange the back so with the command or control pressed i'll uh, click on open square bracket to arrange the back and now i'll just paste the black shape command or control v this will place it somewhere else so we i'll just delete this out and press command or control f to paste in on top in the same position so we need that and arrange it to back just like that uh, with the command or control pressed open square bracket you can arrange it to back and now let's give this effect this cut or cut out effect so i'll just with the all press just click and with the shift press drag it up and we'll keep it around this much this much thickness and select this two and then this one if you click on minus front it will leave you this but we want the opposite so this two are intersecting over here so i'm we'll click this intersect and we got this region and we want that in the same way i'll pre paste one more time command f and this time arrange it back and create a duplicate leaving a thin at the edges and select these two and for this one 
we'll subtract and we'll leave it right now because we need this edge we know we don't need the intersection region so I'll just click on this and we are left with this edges and now let's do some color correction so I'll just select this and apply the same color this yellow light yellow and you know the color code this is the color code we'll do the same this one and with the eye picker adjust this and last thing we're gonna do is to add a black background at the back and as you can see we have got some black shape in the back and we can do it very easily I'll just paste that a copied shape command control F and then arrange it to the back so with the command pressed arrange it to back and you got that nice design design with a black shape in the background and I think our text design is ready now the next step we're gonna do is to create this nice background vector shape and to create that we're gonna use the library this element collection and the frame collection so let's use that so for the frame I'm going to select this one so select this and here we got this uh, four different versions of circular patterns uh, for our design we'll select this one so I just click and drag it drop to our main file and place it somewhere around here so here we go I'll just scale on the size and uh, place it here and we'll work on it as soon as we are ready so this one I'll place it somewhere around here just to make sure and now let's begin designing this effect so uh, first thing we're gonna do is to place this so I'll just select this all group this up okay so grouping this up placing somewhere around here let's bring in a black background so I just created a duplicate of this and place it somewhere around here now I'll just bring this one and scale on size okay and place it in the center similar to this yep and first thing we're gonna do is to change this color so I just select these two and I just apply the same color so we can just pick the color from here so this is the color we're gonna use and this one I'll just please keep keep it somewhere around here for a while and now let's bring this text so I'll just bring this and place it around here okay and let's apply that diagonal flow to your text and to create that we're going to use the wrap option so select them go to object envelope distort make with wrap option and this will with using this we can give some interesting effects so we have got some effects like arc uh, bulge and lots of other options but we have to choose the perfect option for our design so just go along with it just the up and down arrow key just check out which uh, design will fit for your pattern so for the background I want something interesting that fill up our design so just checking out okay this looks good this is interesting but it's giving me some uh, like my shape is being distorted over here and distorted so I don't want that I want it in a perfect shape so just check out and this this pattern is giving me that nice look so with this I can go to this side or this side so I think this side is looking more interesting so keep it something flow like that I'll just keep it something like this around 12 and click OK and now I'll just place it in the center okay similar to that and I'll just scale down the size a little bit this part this part overall it's looking filled and now let's fill up the empty spaces as you can see our font is in the perfect uh, position the design is overall giving that nice balance but there are some empty spaces so well, let's fill that up so this is where we're gonna use our creativity to bring in some vectors to fill up our design and it should not make our design meshy it should be clean as well as it should be properly filled up in a balanced way so I bought this one and place it in the center just to fill up that empty space so just scale on size and place it in the center somewhere on here and let's scale on the size a little bit more okay let's see yep this is overall filling that up I'll just uh, bring the text to front just to make sure it's on the top and lock this command or control 2 to lock it up and let's place it somewhere nicely around here okay just to make sure it's balanced so uh, here it's nicely filled now let's bring in more as you can see here it's empty and here it's empty so let's bring in some vectors that will look good as well as the design looks complete so I'll go to elements now and under elements we got some interesting like petals like flowers and lots of rings so for this I think our flower 
will look great. So I'll just select these two flower and some leaf just like this one. Maybe I'll select this flower, big one, then this and this leaf and some leaf over here. This, uh, maybe this one. Yep. Let's bring that and let's check it out. So just click and drag into our main file. So here we go. Here it is. And I'll just scale on the side just to make sure it is not affecting. So here is our all the vector shapes. Okay. Which we're going to use to fill up our empty spaces. First, let's change the color. So I'll just select these two and I'll just pick the color. And you know the color code. It's f 0 cb 8 so it's the same color code we're gonna use for the whole design and same goes for here and for this outlines we're gonna use black color so click OK do the same for the other flower as well eye picker you can pick it from there black color for the leaf as well pick black color so here we go we have changed all the color as well as the borders so now let's place it so first we'll place this somewhere around here okay yep and let's see the comparison as you can see yep so we'll reduce the size a little bit and i'll place one more around here and scale on size this one a little bit lesser arrange it to front like that and let's bring in some leaf so i'll just select these leaf and place it somewhere around here arrange it front yep and now i'll just bring in some leaf just like this so let's select this leaf and place it here scale down the size and we'll need one more leaf so just place this here and rotate it a little bit and place it around here and scale down the size like that okay so overall, I just move this a little bit upward with a little bit smaller size. Okay, uh, yeah, this side it's almost filled, similar to that. So now uh, we'll work on the other side. We'll bring this one here, and I'll just rotate this to 90 degree angle and place it somewhere around here. Skin on size, and I'll just bring this leaf and place it somewhere around here scale on the size arrange it to front for the leaf i'm going to use this and I'll rotate it and place it somewhere around here and let's scale on the size a little bit like that and here we go this is the leaf uh, this one will bring it a little bit up and place it somewhere around here so overall it's filled up and come on control 2 and i'll just make sure and the font is on top and everything is in their place and it's looked great now we're going to work on details so over here as you can see this leaf is overlapping with this our um, frame design so what i'll do is i'll use the pen tool and draw some shapes tracing it out so just like this click 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 and this is the shape and now selecting this this and i'll just subtract it from here and we are left with this shape so we'll be doing that for all the designs which overlaps and here i think we don't need that part here so i'll leave it like that now let's uh, work on our fonts so this one we want this text so to create that we're going to use some other techniques we'll be typing a font on a circle shape so let's create a ellipse tool so with the ellipse tool selected click and drag with the alt and shift press you can click and drag and create a nice circle and with the space bar pressed you can move the size so with the alt and shift pressed you can adjust the size of the circle and with the space bar pressed you can move it so that's how we're gonna do it so here i just place it around here okay okay so here is a circle let's apply to stroke and now to see the circle and change the color and now with the text selected over here just click and you go in there and select type on path tool after that click on this and just type out like anything come on all and this font is very big let's reduce the size a little bit around eight okay and change the font color to white and now let's work on it 
so I'll just place this okay so this is how the center is here and this one oh this is so these two are the borders and this is the center and if you click on this you can shift the uh, sticks to whether you want it on the outside or inside and that's type our text come on all B E A U T I F U L beautiful let's select this and I'll just sh shift it to inward like that just to see that okay and we need to change the font so over here let's type old and old Alfie regular is there and old Erica regular I think this font looks great I'll keep it come on all and let's reduce the character size use the arrow keys to reduce the font size okay and with the direct selection tool you can just move it and place it in the center and let's adjust the scale size of the circle just make it a little bit circular bigger just to make sure that their spacing is equal on top and bottom and like that now I'll create a duplicate of this select like this Control C and F and I'll just uh, rotate this so I'll just click and place bring it around here very simple like that and we'll flip this so here is the center one just click and flip it there and we'll reduce the size okay and let's change the font so double click on it some command all the V I N T A G E vintage okay and now let's increase the size double click on it command all character and let's increase the font size okay and I think this much font is enough and let's work on this so let's balance it out so we'll keep it in the center and as well as we'll increase the size a little bit okay and this one I'll bring it around here and this one we'll bring it down let's try to increase the font size a little bit I'll keep it in the center and let's see so here we go our font is ready and now the last thing we're gonna do is to apply that nice uh, stroke color to the text so to apply that I'll just select these two okay what I'll do is I'll pick the color from here eye picker and just reverse it and apply white color for the main and for this one it's fine let's reduce the thickness so go to here and point to 5 yep this is good so we have given that nice font thickness our text is ready we have added that nice circular effect to it and our whole design is almost done now let's do some final correction and as you can see this font looks quite smaller I'll increase the font size to 11 and fill up the area just a bit so here just go there and just make sure it's in the center and over here look, I'll just scale this up a little bit and this side as well a little bit like that okay and a little bit smaller like that and this one I'll increase the size a little bit okay and this one as well and a little bit downward just filling up here as well we'll increase the size a little bit just to fill up this is how you do the final adjustments and our final design is ready so using the ready-made fonts from heritage type gives us the authentic looking text to work with which could be customized using illustrator offset path and blend tools by combining a text effect with one of the frame graphics really helps to enhance the vintage theme so if you want to check out this vintage font bundle i'll be sharing the link in the description where you can go in their website and check out the effect uh, next we're going to look at how you can create this older style looking text effect using the appearance option and we'll be using their option to create this effect so i hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you